What's up guys, welcome back to Connor Reads and we have some big news for those of you who are fans of Christopher Paolini's Inheritance Cycle. So Christopher Paolini, he wrote The Inheritance Cycle when he was 19, the first book came out and for me, I read them when I was a child and I absolutely loved this cycle. It follows Aragon and Sephira as our main characters. Now, Christopher Paolini, he's 39 years old, so 20 years on since the first book was released and he's come out with another book set in this world. Not only did he announce the next book and when it's gonna be released, which is November 7th of this year, 2023, he's also come out with some really juicy details that I wanna share with you guys as well. And first and most excitingly is the name of the book and it's going to be Murtagh. So before we get into my thoughts, let me just read you what he was quoted as saying about this book. So it's a deep dive into the life of our titular character and his dragon, Thorn. Here you'll find mystery, magic, and revelations as Murtag attempts to answer some of the deepest questions in the land, as well as those of his own life. He also says, I, have a I had a ridiculous amount of sometimes devilish fun writing Murtag, and I can't wait for readers to experience it for themselves. Welcome back to Allegasia. And like the child inside of me is so excited for this book to come out for a ton of reasons. So let me explain. First of all, I'm really excited to have a different main character. And he also goes on to say that we're going to see uh, lands that we know and lands that we don't. And there's also going to be a, a witch as the main antagonist, as the baddie, essentially. And what this means is we may get some Aragorn, but I'm excited for him to not be the main character. And it's not that I didn't like Aragorn, but I just found him to be the least likable of the dragon riders, number one. And number two, he was quite childish. He made so many foolish, frustrating and silly decisions that um, I still fell in love with him, of course, but... I don't know, he just frustrated me as I read the books. Murtag, on the other hand, he was really dealt a bad hand from the very start. He was almost instantly under the thumb um, of the, the biggest villain of all time in that land. And he still managed to be a really cool and likable character. Now, obviously Christopher Paolini is quite a lot older when he's writing these books. So I feel like if any part of Aragorn being childish and making those foolish decisions was because Christopher Paolini kind of saw himself as Aragorn during that period of time of his life. And I imagine the concept for this book in the first writing was maybe when he was like 15, 16, 17, 18. I don't know, I'd have to look into it. But now that he's 39, to bring his older perspective and wiser perspective on life to a character that already displayed a lot of those characteristics, well, I just think it's gonna be a hell of a ride. And we have had one book since the initial cycle came out, and it's this, The Fork, The Witch, and the worm, and I actually read it relatively recently because I revisited these books and I didn't know that had come out. It's not necessarily a follow on, it does follow some of the characters afterwards and it's more like snippets of their lives. But we do get a little bit about Murtagh. And we join Murtagh, I believe he's in a tavern, and essentially he is following up about a witch called Bachel or Bachel, I would guess Bachel, B A C H E L. And essentially, we know from what Christopher Paolini said that it's gonna be a witch as the main antagonist. So I think it must be safe to assume it's gonna be her. And she already sounds extremely powerful. So there's a ton of spoilers here. So if you haven't read these books, I don't know, go read them and then come back. It's been a while. Um, since, sorry, it's been a while since they've been out. So you should have read them. Um, but so when he's in the tavern, he already knows the name of the, the the magical language, which is supposed to be able to allow you to use any type of magic. But this witch has given the men attacking him amulets that stop it from working. So their wards are powerful enough to stop that, which is really exciting. So I think it's obviously safe to assume that they're gonna be a good match for Murtag and Thorn. I hope that we do see a bit of Aragorn and Sephira, maybe even Arya and her dragon as well. And um, yeah, it's gonna be a hell of a ride. So that's it, just a little update from me. Tell me, did you read these books? Are you going to? Um, as Like I said, they were a staple for my childhood and I think it was the very first books that I read um, and really got into fantasy-wise that came from American authors, obviously being from the UK. I did move to the US, but I read these while I was over in the UK and they were super popular around the world as well. And um, yeah, it really extended my love for uh, high fantasy. Who were your favorite characters from the books and who would you like to see in these books if you have read them? And just for the sake of conversation, I must say that my favorite character was Aromis followed 
pretty quickly by Gladia and then of course Angela the Herbalist and Salon Bomb. And that's everything out of me. Just wanted to give you a quick update because I'm super fired up about these and I'll be reading them when they come out November 7th, 2023.